taking a break. They're having a little Christmas cocoa cheer. So I'm gonna walk over to the main building and grab a little snack just to escape. Really pretty day, pretty afternoon. Welcome back, bienvenidos if this is your first time. Welcome to day six of Gift Vlogmas. This is el día 6 de diciembre. We have 19 days left until Christmas. I just wanna come on really, really quick and just show you my progress on my tree and just what I was able to actually do as of um, last night. I just went ahead and just plugged in the ornaments that I actually made in um, back in July for my um, Christmas in July. I'll link that video down below in case you haven't already seen it. I revealed a couple of new Chanel pieces in my um, into my collection, but then also had these really fun ornaments that I actually made specifically for the pink tree so they could um, pop out, pa que resaltaban. And I love the pink, white, and black combo. I tried making a few yesterday, and if you can see them here, because I had the little um, ornaments that I had purchased so that I can kind of decorate them but they started to look like Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse ears. So I don't know. And so I need to go back to the store and exchange um, some of the ones that I have and reconfigure my concept or my vision and just kind of stick to the way I plan on doing our larger tree out in the living room, which I need to start decorating that one as well. So today just wanna do the advent calendar. My husband pulled out my Christmas shirt. So this is the fun one that I actually got in Houston with this family that actually makes them. And if you haven't already seen the back, they always put something here on the back that kind of blends in with the actual shirt. I enjoy wearing these throughout the year. So it's just a lot of fun wearing them and because they're just fun and different and nice and blingy, just super cute for the holiday season. But let's go ahead and find day six on our advent calendar. Down here is number six. We have a really cute little puppy sitting in front of the fireplace. Look at him, super cute. Reminds me of my husband's dog that we lost a couple years ago, but just nice and warm in front of the fireplace. Oh, perfect. This is actually a fragrance for the inside of the home, amigas. So this is Lost in Amalfi and it is Sea Mist and it's an interior fragrance. And this is what I um, liked about this actual calendar was because it had these scents for the home. That way you can um, just, you know, spritz the uh, room or whatever, especially if you have people coming over, you can definitely just miss this around the house. So let's see. Again, ooh, this is a really good, nice size bottle. Yeah. So you have the nice little um, wording for glass house. And let's see. Mmm, muy fresco, amigas, muy fresco, very fresh. Definitely like sea mist, coastal, refreshing. Very, very fresh. Oh, I like that. Especially for summer. 
smells really really good our upstairs i call it the coastal cave because i have a bunch of like coastal decor from when we travel out of the country like to the caribbean <sighs> que rico. that smells really really nice one thing that i like to do amigas just as a quick as a chica tip one thing that i like to do let me show you real quick so like if i have a floral arrangement or maybe like a big one like that i keep floral arrangements in our bathrooms and so whether it's a fragrance mist or whether it's a perfume so let's say you get like those little perfume samples that they're always sending you when you buy something online or you're buying something in store like it's a four or whatever maybe it's a fragrance that you're not too fond of maybe wearing i use those fragrances to spray actually on the floral arrangements in the bathroom. So this way the scent, the perfume actually stays on the flower. And when you walk into the bathroom, you actually smell the perfume. So I've done that on maybe fragrances that maybe I'm already kind of like tired of. I don't want to wear them, not, not expensive fragrances, but maybe it's just a next, um, maybe it's just a fragrance that I tried. I will go ahead and then um, spray it on the actual floral arrangement so that this way when I walk into the bathroom or the room, wherever you have it in, it just smells nice and fresh because of the actual fragrance that you um, that you used. And so that's just a nice little way to um, give the room some freshness, some scent, especially if you have company coming over or just, you know, for you, um, you know, having an arrangement in the home, it's just a nice way to spritz it up and make the room smell nice and clean and fresh or the fragrance that you like or that it reminds you of a, of a place or of somebody. Well, day six was a winner. Absolutely, absolutely really nice and fun. Can't wait to use this one, especially during the um, summer season when I like it to be nice and clean and having the scent of a nice fresh sea mist. Be sure to come back tomorrow so I can share with you some ways on how you can repurpose some of your luxury ribbon for a lot of these various luxury designers that we love and purchase from. And this way you can have some fun little decorations in your home or in your office, just some fun little um, things that you can do for yourself or even give as gifts. Amigos, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening to all our veterans and all our servicemen and women serving and defending our country around the world, especially for those deployed during this holiday season season. Thank you so much for your service. I will see you back here mañana, amigos. Hasta la próxima. Bye-bye.